Hey and welcome to our tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Fortnite logo inside Microsoft Word. So this is what we want to create. I will take the picture out of this file and just copy paste it into a new file. And what I will do is I will try to resize it as much as I can just because there are a lot of small details and Word just allow us to zoom in into the document to about like 500% so that may not be enough. So I will try to make it as big as possible. Then I will open the format ribbon and inside the colors drop down I will probably select one of those faded versions of this image so they are, it's not blocking our way. So without too much talking let's zoom in as much as we can and start with the big areas, the big uh, uh, buildings. What I will do is I will select insert shapes, freeform shape and I will just start tracing those buildings and just because those have, those have straight lines it should be fairly easy to, to just trace those individual points. And as you can see, I'm not tracing all the details, I'm just tracing those big parts. And I will set the fill to black and outline to no outline and continue with the other buildings, maybe the left one. I will keep those small details for the future or in a while. So again, just trace those individual points. I will try to do this as fast as I can. Of course, if you have more time than me, you will Pay closer attention to the details of course. I will probably trace this one as well because this, uh, this is done from the straight lines as well. Close the shape, we are fine with the left one. I will continue with the right one. Again select freeform shape tool and just trace those individual points. It's a lot of clicking, I will probably trace this one as well. But there is no shortcut for this one because you can see there are no like a standard shapes being used for those buildings. So we cannot use a predefined shapes. This one is probably not a building, but we will use this uh, freeform shape as well. I'll maybe start here and just trace this part. I will leave out the, the top details, but I will probably trace the grass. And immediately you can see as I'm tracing the grass, the detail of the line being drawn is it's pixelated just because we are zoom it, zoomed in all the way to see all the details. That's a problem of Word that it doesn't really show us the path before we actually finish the and close the shape. So that's one of the things which is uh, not helping us at all. But I'm pretty happy with the result. And once we hide this original image, you will see that it's, it's not obvious that the grass is just a little bit different. So I will continue to the left side. I will zoom in even more. And I will probably trace this left part. So like this. And I'll probably pr trace it to like to this part and somehow close this shape. I don't need to you know close it properly because the bottom part will be done in a, in a while. I don't really want to draw those trees but I guess I don't have any other options. So again just a lot of clicking around those points to create a shape which is somehow similar to the underlying image. And the you know, tree shape is not really made from own, only straight lines, but it's so small that when we zoom out, you will not see a difference. Again, no outline, black fill, and do the same for the left tree. Hopefully there will be some shapes which will be possible to use the predefined shapes. We'll see. And I'm thing that what we can do is we can also trace the bottom part of the of the trees like this the left the right one and the left one no outline and black fill and I will probably use a predefined shape for the for the fence so I'll open this drop down menu and select this shape being called the top corners top corner snipped and I will just drag this top handle to make sure that it's the similar shape, change the outline and fill, and then I will just resize this shape, rotate it around and just, you know, copy paste it around the original shapes somehow. It will not be perfect, but again, it's so small that when we zoom out, you will not see a difference. And I'm, I'm using very rough shapes and I'm, I don't need, I don't care too much about the perfection here. I don't want this tutorial to last two hours so that's why I'm you know doing everything with a little bit less 
attention to the detail than I usually do. Okay, then we will connect everything with using the freeform shape tool, but I will only trace those lines like this, and I will not connect the shape. I will in here I will press the enter key, so I only have line. I will change the line color of course to black and maybe increase the width to maybe like I don't know twenty two points or so, some default value. And then I will do the same thing or a similar thing in here to trace the platform. Again, I will use the freeform shape tool, but I will only trace the spring like this. And down here, I will press enter. Again, black outline with a little bit more width. And for the top part, I can probably use just a standard line tool. So I'll just draw a line. This will be probably even more thicker, maybe three points or so. Okay, moving in here, there is one detail which is not being traced. I can just again use the freeform shape, make sure it's a little bit bolder like this. I will take a look at the top part. There is nothing missing. In here, there is actually something missing, like the top building. So I will trace this building using the freeform shape. So I will also trace this part of the flag. I will close this shape. No outline this time but black fill and for the flag itself i think i may use this of uh, curve tool so i'll try to click on the like the maximum points or the or the points where the bezier points would be i may still right click and select edit points and move some of those points or the handles around to somehow make sure that it's somehow similar, you know, it's not perfect, but I guess it's fine. For this one, I will select corner point and move one of those handles down like this. And I may do the same in here, I'll select corner point because this is a hard connection of those parts. No outline, black fill and we are fine. Then there is this satellite thing for which one I may use some predefined shape and that will most likely be this uh, cord. So I will draw a circle like this and then just adjust those start and end points like this. I will resize it a little bit, move it with my arrow keys on my keyboard and then I will trace those lines. And what I can do is I can probably create something like this. I can trace all four lines with just one shape. Select the black color and boulder. And there is something in here, you know, you can see there is something strange going on here. That's because the connection of those lines is being set to some value. We can actually find out by right clicking and selecting format shape. And for the line options, it's the join type, I believe. If he changes to bevel or round, it will disappear. So this is much better. Then I will just trace this right part of the of this detail like this no outline this time and there is one more line in here for which i can probably use this arc so I'll just draw it like this then i have to adjust those start and end points like this again black outline which will be a little bit bolder and as you can see you know i'm, I'm just using simple tools for all those details but in the end when we zoom out you will not see the difference this is like a chair. It will be a little bit harder, so I will use a curve tool and try to click on those, or at least some of those points. Okay, this is kind of strange shape, but hopefully it will be fine when we zoom out. You can see there is this uh, umbrella. We can just reuse this shape for the umbrella. We will just make it smaller like this and adjust those start and end points. Resize it, move it to the right path, we are fine. Again, for this stem, we can also use this arc, like this. Black outline, which will be bolder, and there is something down here, I'm pretty sure that we can just use an oval in here, we don't need to you know, draw any custom shape. Okay, and then we are on the right side where we have this tree, which is probably the most complex shape out of all of all those. So I will probably split this into multiple shapes. I will start with the curve tool and trace this top part, which is somehow 
around it so I will just randomly click around some of those points and then I will just connect everything like this no outline black fill and the bottom part I will just trace with the freeform shape tool then I will just make sure that the top and bottom part are somehow overlapping so you don't see that it's actually being made from two different shapes like this I will trace it with some overlap and I will do the same with the smaller with the bottom one so again I will start with the curve trace the top part somehow to be around it and then the bottom part I will trace with the freeform shape tool just add a few of those spikes should be fine okay so the root of the tree again just probably a freeform shape tool it's a little bit rounded but the detail is so small that we can probably use the freeform without any rounded uh, lines and as you can see it kind of connected to the first point because it was too close so I will select edit points and for this one I will select open path move it to the list this space should be fine I can still select close point close path doesn't make much difference and there is the, then there is this tire so I will draw a small line being in the black color with the weight of the two points maybe not two points but maybe one and a half points and one ellipse which will have the width of the line much bigger so no fail this time and the width, weight of the line will be maybe three or four points okay if I zoom out you can see we've traced probably all the details on the top so what's missing is the Fortnite text and the background for the Fortnite text you can find the font used for the logo easily it's however a paid font so we would have to pay for it we probably can trace the font as well without the need to download the font or, or buy the font so I will zoom over the letters make sure that each letter or letter is visible as a whole because one, once we start tracing the letter we cannot move the area around and I will start with the freeform shape like for everything else and just trace the F letter like this also if you you know just download a font you, you may find out that the actual logo is a little bit distorted so you may still make some tweaks which is you know hard to do inside word you cannot just convert a font to uh, curves I think that for now I will just keep the default to blue fill and s continue tracing the logo I will draw the ellipse for the O shape but you can see it's not quite an ellipse it's a little bit wider on the top and bottom so I'll right click select edit points and make sure that the top part at the bottom part is a little bit wider like this I may move those as well oh wait never mind it's quite everything so I will I'm, I'm fine with the shape I don't need to change it I will continue with the freeform shape and trace the R and for this rounded part I will just select you know insert one point in here and once I'm done with tracing the letter I will right click select edit points and for this one I will right click and select smooth point and I will change it you know, move the handles if I can no it stopped working sorry okay it works now so I'll move those edit points like this and continue with the next letter which is T that's you know all the other letters are easy because they only include straight lines so we don't need to do, do those adjustments of the Bezier curves so that's T N again free form although I think that in here we could probably use the rectangle because it's just a little bit distorted it will not make any big difference the T letter and we are almost done we only miss we are only missing only one oh I can see it's on the wrong spot I have to move it 
just a little bit. I'm saying I'm not paying too much attention to the detail, but still, I would like to keep it as close as possible in hopefully, I don't know, 20 minutes. Seems like we are doing this for 15 minutes already. What I will do now is I will select the home ribbon and the selection pane, and I will hide some of those shapes. The sum of those being the uh, O and R. This is O and R because we need to trace the inner part. I will again use the ellipse for the inner part of the O letter. Right click select edit points and make the top one and the bottom one just a little bit wider like this. And for the R I will select freeform shape and I will do it very similar way as the actual R letter. Right click select edit points. This one should be smooth point and this one should have the handle pointing to the right side as well as this one should have the handle pointing to the right side. Okay, those are the inner parts, so I will change the color for those one to black and no outline of course. And all the other, other letters should have the color white without the outline. So I will select all of them with the shift key being pressed, set the outline to no outline and fill to white. And the only thing which is missing is to trace the background of the text itself. So I will select a freeform shape and I will start in here around here. As you can see the bottom part is a little bit rounded so I will only insert one point here, one point here and I will close this shape, make sure that it's overlapping all the other shapes so we don't see any gaps in here. I will move this below all the letters which is probably starting from here or so, change the fill to black and to no outline of course right click side edit points and this one should be smooth of course so this is smooth it's kind of in the wrong way because I have to adjust this point to be pointing to the left side or around here and I have to do the same for this one which this one is right this one was wrong so like this if I zoom out and just hide the background image which is picture one you can see I have probably almost the same looking logo as the original one in 18 or so minutes and that's it thanks for watching